All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Finally, we have some good weather out here today and here in Ohio. Bad weather, I think, is gone. Spring's here among us, 75 degrees and sunny. So we've been kind of putting this uh, review and install off for a while. Um, we've been really researching kind of what type of rear view mirrors we wanted. I know we've had a few folks reach out to us and ask, you know, do we use rear view mirrors or what kind would we want to do? So, you know, it's been a back and forth thing. Um, but I thought, think we finally found the ones we're going to use that we can use with the um, canvas doors here on the Polaris Ranger XP 1000. So what we're going to do today is get those installed, show you how to do it. Also get kind of a little review on it and we'll go from there. But hey, once again, we appreciate you all coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we're going to get right into this. So let's go. All right, so let's get an unboxing here. It just came through. We actually ordered it on Amazon. So um, at the end of this video, well, actually at the bottom there in the description, we'll put in uh, this product, what brand it is and all that stuff. Um, I think it's Ram uh, Soto products. So we'll be, there'll be a link in the description there below. So if you want to check this out, go ahead and uh, click on that link. <clears throat> So it comes with all these parts, so we're just going to throw, pull all these out, some extra bolts, and then uh, we'll show you how nice it is packaged in here pretty good with some bubble wrap and all this. So we're going to pull this out, and we'll get to laying everything out and see exactly what we're going to need to install this. So we got uh, two brackets here. It's going to go on the front. I'll show you that here in a moment. Um, comes with both mirrors. Pretty nice construction. Um, has the ability to turn. We got some new um, hardware here, some bolts, washers, spacers, um, and then some bolts and nuts, washers there to go on the bracket. So um, you are going to need, always remember to use hand tools to start and things. Um, impact wrench, obviously, this is going to be uh, the DeWalt power tools, but you're going to need a 15 milliliter, 15 mm's. Let's roll. So it does not come with instructions. So I'm just going to throw that out there. It does not come with instructions. It's pretty easy though uh, to figure out. But I'm going to tell you what. I know I said you have a 15 milli for up here. It's going to go here on your actual frame. You're going to need a 10 millimeter um, for your hardware here to attach it, the mirror to the actual bracket here. It does have the ability to slide. So don't tighten it up all the way. Make sure it's loose um, until you get it to where you want, and then you can adjust it and tighten it down from there. So we're gonna put the other one together here. Just wanted to kind of show you uh, what this one looks like put together. Once again, don't tighten these until the end. So, and then we'll put that on the actual frame. All right, guys, once again, um, this does go on the Polaris Ranger XP1000. Um, we have plenty of reviews out there on the Polaris Ranger XP1000, so check those out. They'll be up here somewhere. But um, once you get the mirror on this bracket, this bracket, what's I, once I was telling you, they're going to go on these two bolts. You get to decide which bolts you want to put it on, okay? You can put it on the lower bolt or you can put it on the higher bolt depending on where your visibility is. One thing I have noticed uh, just by looking at the hardware that they provided was these bolts here from the factory are actually longer. So with that being said, we're going to, I think, put five spacers on there to get it out as far as we can. We'll probably go ahead and purchase um, longer bolts um, to put on there for the passenger side just so we can get it out there a little bit further for visibility. So we'll check it out once we get it on here, but I just wanted to show you where it actually goes on there. Go ahead and loosen this up. We're gonna put it on the top one um, just to get it up a little bit higher. Um, but inside here, you're going to see a bolt right here. That's what it's gonna be loosening, okay? So make sure you don't lose that bolt. Don't let it fall down into, into here. Um, kind of where we ran these wires up for the rear lights on the Ranger here. Let me show you those real fast. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check that out or install those uh, lights there. All right, so it's definitely on there tight, guys. Definitely on there tight. We're going to have to loosen this up. Once you get it loose, make sure you reach in there so you don't lose that nut. As you're Let's switch to an impact wrench just to make things a little faster. 
spin that out. Make sure you don't lose that nut. Here we go. Now see these these bolts are a lot longer than the um, than the ones that they actually provide. So we're gonna stick with these. I think we're gonna go ahead and put <clears throat> five spacers on there. The five spacers I think is gonna give us right where we need to be. So we'll go ahead and well, you big goober. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on this side. We'll put the spacers on this side. And then we're gonna go ahead and slip that right back in there. Make sure we put our nut in the spot. And just let that kind of hang down for a minute until we get started. And then we'll go ahead and flip it up here in a moment. Oh yeah, you can see it coming together now. Hand tools, like I said, hand tools. Get everything started with hand tools. I'm actually not gonna use an impact wrench on this because these spacers are just plastic and we don't wanna crack them. I wish they had been maybe rubber. Rubber would have been good. But hey, they are what they are. We'll see how long they last. So we're gonna get this adjusted up. We'll show you what it looks like. All right, there we go. Got it all tightened up. You can see the spacers there. And this is kind of how it looks. Um, I do wanna say one thing here about this. Like I said, we need to bring this out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna purchase a longer bolt for that. Um, just cause of the visibility here. So like if you're in here driving, right? Which we'll show you. Your visibility, you're not gonna, you really have to look around. It needs to be stuck out a little bit further. But if we bring it this way, then you won't be able to open the door, right? So right now the where it's at is perfect. It just needs to come out a little further. So we're gonna adjust that later, but just kinda wanna show you what this is. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So there you go for right now. Let's do the other side and we'll show you what kind of visibility we have on that side. So we got it all wrapped up here. Both sides, as you can see, went on the top there. Went on the top over here. And they are collapsible. So you can move this mirror in, out, back forth you know whatever you need to do depending on what your application is but they look pretty good sturdy um, i don't see any issues with it i mean they don't stick out too far just enough to where it gives you some some visibility behind so you know what you're looking at so let's get in here and do a, a road test and kind of show you what they look like for visibility from the driver's seat so like i expected here you go from the driver's seat perfect i mean this is my view from the driver's seat right perfect visibility you look to the left you got it no problems but here you go you look to the right and you can't see it you kind of do one of these whopper jaws to see it so that's where i said we got to get that extended out a little bit um, now if you have a passenger right they can see but you know really the one mirror right here can kind of give you the visibility on the left side would be perfect so we're going to take this down the driveway for a minute and see how this does if it rattles or wobbles or how sturdy it is so let's check it out all right so there you go we're driving right here 12 15 miles an hour and i'm telling you what they don't really bounce around too terrible down a gravel driveway so i'm sure if you're on smoother it would really be good visibility but yeah that's 12 miles an hour and there you go we'll hit a little harder here all right so there's 20 it's still not jerking around very much so let's let's take this on some grass here and show you what it looks like there doesn't bounce around at all so we're in good shape there there you have it one thing i did want to show you guys you can just go ahead and open your door and there's no rubbing nothing like that you don't have to worry about any of that and it just it shuts right perfect all right everyone that pretty much wraps it up so finally got them installed went ahead and did a little review on them right now um, pretty impressed with them so far the durability of them and the way they look and handle is uh, 
kind of exceeds my expectation for them, so I'm really happy in regards to that. But it's going to be a continual process, and we'll keep monitoring them, and we'll throw it up there, some more videos later uh, as we go on, see how well they last. Uh, the one thing we do have to do is we have to add that extra long bolt, don't forget, on the passenger side to extend it. So keep that in mind if you do purchase these. Um, we will have a link in the description there where you can purchase these on Amazon if you want to do so. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate you all coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.